Agron recently travelled to Chagas Greenacres Calf to Beef programme participant Thomas Kennedy's farm just outside Ballycarney, County Wexford. I run a calf to beef system here by Ahey Freeze and Calves in the autumn. Um, another batch of maybe 15 or 20 limousines in the spring. Um, we have sucklers here as well, 35 to 40. And um, I also buy cattle for grass, their forward stores. And um, everything on the farm is finished. So um, bulls, steers and heifers. While Thomas purchased some spring-born limousine calves, the decision was made to switch to autumn-born calves in 2017. At the autumn, once you get more grass into the system when you're doing the bulls, and um, plus it takes a workload off you, when your calves and sucklers and all, at least if the freezing's gone out of the way. And I just like the bulls because you have a higher stocking rate with the autumn barn lads. Whereas if you're doing the spring barn bulls, you're, you're tied to letting them out the second summer, you know. The 53.5 hectares of grassland is dry and Thomas turns cattle out as quickly as possible in the year. The autumn calves out in the field went out the uh, 15th of January and that was out by day, they used to come in every night until the 20th of February, I let them on all together then, they were out day and night. Thomas weighs his cattle regularly, and whalings that are not capable of hitting bull beef targets can be identified, and are redirected down the steer route. Uh, I started weighing cattle here about five years ago, I bought weighing scales in the plough match, and um, I was sure, it was like everything was a big novelty for a while, but I still keep it up, I try and weigh every three weeks or that, just to monitor the fattening cattle like monitor poor performing cattle and the way everything at turnout and at housing and maybe once or twice during the summer it takes the guesswork out of it and especially when it comes near slaughter when you're feeding bulls you, they could be eating away there and they wouldn't be putting on any weight and it's time for the factory then on march 17th the Frisian bull calves averaged 200 kilograms while a batch of whitehead calves averaged 220 kilograms the autumn barn cows that are outside now, I'd um, be hoping they'd be coming in the end of November in around the 400 kilos. And we'll have a fair idea then what will make it as bulls and not, and we'll drive them on then for the bull beef market. Yeah, we'll be aiming for a kilo a day on the calves of grass, and we hope hoping maybe to get maybe 280 days maybe of grass into them. So it's just, it's a cheap way of getting a bit of weight onto them. The freezing bulls here behind us there now, they're tipping around 500 kilos. They should be a lot heavier, but from the drought last summer, they had been grass there for six, seven weeks, and late turnout last spring, so they're about 70 kilos, I'd say, behind target. But um, In the normal year, the bulls here behind us, we'd um, they'd be coming here fit again now, you'd be killing them maybe in late May, June. But because of the drought last year and the late turnout, they're just that much behind. I'd say it'll be late July, early August this year. Thomas is currently feeding a store diet before moving to a more intensive feeding system. The bulls here behind us, they're on 14 kilos of beet and a kilo of beet balancer at the moment. So we're going to try and up the beet another little bit and the beet balancer over the next couple of days. And then in about a month's time, six weeks, they'll take them off the beat and the balancer and they'll go straight on ad-lib meal. Last year on their ad-lib diet, they gained 1.3 kilos a day over the 100 days, so 130 kilos over the 100 days. Um, I thought it was very good for bulls. Um, on the slower diet now, you'd be hoping that they'd be putting on 0.8 a day.